Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get the California General A Engineering Contractor License. Essentially, a general engineering contractor is a contractor whose principal contracting business is in connection with fixed works requiring specialized engineering knowledge and skill, including the following divisions or subjects. And that's a definition straight from the CSLB website, and that's the Contractors State License Board, and they essentially govern engineering contractors in California. Now, that could include land leveling and earth moving projects, excavating and grading, trenching, paving and surfacing work and oftentimes cement and concrete works. Now the typical projects that fall under the General A engineering contractor license vary. They include irrigation and drainage, water supply and flood control, harbors, docks and wharves, hydroelectric projects, pipelines and refineries, railroads and highways, streets and roads, tunnels and airports, bridges, overpasses, and even power plants. Now there's a lot of other areas and other projects that fall under this license because it is a public works oriented contractor license. Um, for this video, we're just gonna keep it short. You can check out the full list of projects that fall under this website, uh, uh, this license on our website. Now, the responsibilities of a general contractor, whether it's a general B contractor or general A contractor are typically the same. It includes hiring subcontractors, ensuring job site safety, estimating labor and material costs, ensuring jobs are completed on time and at spec pulling building permits, ensuring that projects are executed up to code, scheduling inspections, keeping clients, project managers, and investors up to date on progress. So you can see general contractors are part business part people, they're part project managers, and then of course they have the specialized trade skill knowledge. Now the basic requirements for the California General Engineering Contractor License are that you have to be at least 18 years of age to apply, You've got to have a driver's license or USAID. You'll need a social security or ITIN number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. The experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience that has to be within the last 10 years. You'll need a qualifying person who can sign off and verify it. And you'll also need to include a description of your work experience over those four years. Now, who can you use to sign off on that experience? You could use employers over the last 10 years, foremen or supervisors, fellow journeymen, general engineering contractors that currently hold licenses, union representatives. Now, how long does it take to get a general engineering contractor license in California? Typically, it fluctuates based on a variety of factors. Generally, you can expect a six to eight week application processing time and then another three to four weeks before you go and take your test. Now, this is not set in stone. The application processing time in California fluctuates. So you'll definitely want to make sure you're aware of potentially how long this can take. Now, what's on the general engineering contractor license exam? It's two parts. There's 115 questions covering contractor license law. There's another 115 questions covering general engineering. You'll have three hours to complete each portion. It's a multiple choice exam, and it's gonna be done on site on computer. And you can bring a translator uh, if you need to. However, there is pre-screening before you're allowed to do that. Now, the general A exam topics covered include planning, estimating, and project management, structural principles, earthwork and surveying, subsurface work, foundations, and concrete construction buildings, structures, and related work, road work and paving, and safety. Now for a, a deeper look at uh, study guides and online practice tests, you can check out the link uh, below this video and it'll give you a breakdown of everything that you need to know to pass your exam. Now the cost for a California General Engineering Contractor License include a state application fee. You'll pay a license activation fee and then you'll pay a renewal fee every two years. You'll pay for the cost of fingerprinting, and you'll provide a contractor bond number. Now, for the most up-to-date California contractor license fees, you'll see a video that'll appear at the end of this one. I suggest you watch that one. It'll give you the most up-to-date costs. Just wanna thank you for watching. This has been a brief video on the General A license. For additional information on getting licensed, bonded, trade skills, and more, you can like and subscribe to our channel. Any questions that you have, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, and also to see the full general engineering guide, you can actually go to our website and we have it all there for you. But again, this is digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.